CS Setup is used to configure and manage NPWMS. To enter CS Setup, navigate to Setup, then click on CS Setup in the ribbon. You can see that Setup is divided into multiple segments to make the navigation easier. In General segment, you will find options related to managing Capture Service. Enable Capture Service Toggle is the first option you need to enable if you want to use handheld devices for scanning. Toggling Log Communication On enables you to record all the communication between Business Central and the WMS app, and its main purpose is troubleshooting and debugging scripts. In the Warehouse Type drop-down menu, you may specify which type of warehouse you will use, basic, advanced, or advanced with bins. In zero default quantity, you can choose whether the default quantity will be zero in your handled documents if you enable the toggle or not if you turn it off. In sum quantity, you can enable the option to sum the quantity of all scanned items of the same type, or if you disable it, each scanned item will be shown in a new row on your warehouse documents. Autofill quantity allows the user to automatically add one quantity of scanned items to the document, and if this toggle is turned off, user will be prompted to manually input quantity after each scan. Lock Documents drop-down menu allows you to specify the type of locking that will be applied to the warehouse documents when handled from the NPWMS mobile app. Locking will prevent other users from accessing the same documents on the mobile device. You can choose to have no locking, to lock and assign the document to current user, or to lock the document and assign it to the current user, unassigning it from the previous one in the process. Notify Ready for Posting toggle will display a message if warehouse document is ready to be posted if enabled. You can set the device admin password for RFID here. Also, here you can set the maximum number of app users in the current subscription period, as well as the maximum number of users for the following subscription period. Finally, you can see the number of users that already used the app in the current subscription period. Next segment of the setup manages Napa Partner Stock Take module if you are using it on your mobile device. It will allow you to specify whether you filter worksheets by location, report error on invalid barcode, should the aggregate stock take be summarized, and if you want a worksheet to be created after transaction. In RFID segment, you can choose which stock take template you will be using for scanning. What will be your preferred counting method, shop and stock, or just shop, and whether the counting authenticate is going to be disabled or not. Next segment is ship and receive, and here you can set whether to import RFID tags to shipping documents, meaning inventory picks and sales orders, as well as whether the warehouse receipt will be used. In price calculation segment, you can specify if you want to use a default customer for getting the prices calculated once the item has been scanned. In search segment, you can limit the maximal number of records that will be returned to your mobile device when performing a search. Worksheets and physical inventory counting allow you to specify the templates that will be used for multiple actions related to former or the latter. This will be a topic of a more detailed discussion in one of the following videos. In Job Queue segment, Job Queue can be enabled for posting in the app. You can assign Job Queue category code and also toggle whether you want to receive a notification after the successful posting and specify if the Job Queue runs in the user session. Finally, in the Azure Printing segment, you can specify the container used for printing the shipping document. While in the other field, you can find out if your container has been tested. This concludes the CS Setup Overview video. Thank you for watching.